Hello, my name is Chris Hickton and this is a demonstration on how to take a recording and burn it to an audio CD. There's a different guide available if you've got a film um, because you might need some specialist pieces of software but for this I will show you how to use Windows um, audio player um, as it, I know it will be available on all pieces of equipment. So the first thing I, I've done is I've taken a very quick two second recording on um, this guide in order to have something to show you. Okay, next, I take the USB cable that's in the box. I take the uh, recorder, which is in the box. I plug the small end into the recorder. I plug the big end into the computer but via the USB port. Once I've done that, um, then, it's, then it will load up as you would expect. We go to recorder, folder A, it could be a different folder. Very quick, I just checked that I've got the right recording. The next thing I want to do then is go on to documents and music and then I want to copy the file into the documents. Now sometimes it should be quite a small file but you need to make sure you've got quite a clear area in order for this technique to work. Sometimes um, if you exceed your drive, your Z drive limit then you might have issues so just make sure that you've not got too many things on the Z drive. Okay, then once you've done that, we go um, and open up Windows Media Player, which is down here. And we go music, and you'll find that there's something which is five seconds long, which is the thing. Very quick, two second record. And then what we do is we go on to burn, and then we just drag and drop into there. And then it will say insert blank audio CD. Okay, and give it a moment to recognize. Once it's done that, you want to click Start Burn. Now sometimes it'll behave a bit strangely, um, particularly if you're doing something memory intensive like recording your screen, right? But eventually what should happen is it will come all the way to the end there and it will burn it for you. Um, it's very important as well that you check that once it's burnt, it's burnt correctly. But that is essentially how you, you burn a disc. Okay.